Hey guys, welcome back and today we'll be looking at Banner Boost custom animation feature. Custom animation can be applied to the animation in and animation out sections of the layer on the timeline. To do this, click on one of the areas and select the custom parameter from the drop-down menu. You can see that there is a window with the settings for your animation. In this area, the easing parameter determines the type of animation or rather the speed and smoothness of the animation. So let's choose ease in out as an example. Now let's take a look at the parameters of the animation itself. Our object's opacity is determined by the opacity parameter. So if we set the value to zero, our object will disappear completely. And by setting it to 40, we will make it 40% opaque. The left parameter controls our animation from right to left. It is measured in pixels. So let's set the value to 100. This parameter can be either positive or negative. When it is negative, the animation tends to move left to right. The top parameter determines the vertical movement of our object. Its positive value will cause the animation to move upwards. The negative is reversed, that is from top to bottom. Combining both of these values gives us a diagonal movement. Our animation is scaled along the X and Y axis using the scale parameter. The X axis determines the horizontal scale and the unit for this parameter is the object's current size. Therefore, values below 1 will decrease our object and values above 1 will increase it. The vertical scale of an object is determined by the y-axis. We will get uniform scaling if we set the same value for both axes. The rotate parameter rotates our object along the x, y and z axis. Depending on how it is interpreted, the direction of rotation of our objects can be either positive or negative. In this parameter, the vertical rotation is controlled by the x-axis and horizontal rotation is controlled by the y-axis. The z-axis is responsible for the circular rotation of the object. The origin parameter is responsible for the alignment of our object's anchor points. Essentially, an anchor bump is a point that defines the very axis of our object's animation. It is by default in the center, which corresponds to the X and Y parameters of 50. Let's set the rotation along the Z axis for a more visual display of the offset of the points. By setting both values to zero, the points will move to the upper left corner of our object. If you put both values at 100, then the points will appear in its lower right corner. In the following videos, you can see a detailed analysis of the effects that can be created by using custom animation. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.